Unit 2, Life Stories. Unit 2, pages 10 and 11. Look and listen. This is an article from the marriage section of a newspaper. It tells the story of a couple. Pamela and Diego. How did a girl from Texas meet someone from Argentina? They met on a subway in Paris, of course. And the meeting wasn't during a vacation. Here's how it happened. Pamela Grant grew up on a ranch near Dallas. Pamela loved to cook, and she used to make elegant meals for her friends. When she finished high school, she went to France and studied to be a chef. Diego Fabri was born in Mendoza, Argentina. His family produced wine. After high school, Diego went to France and studied hotel management. Diego noticed Pamela when she got on the subway train. She was talking to a friend, and she seemed very happy and energetic. Pamela noticed Diego. He was handsome, and he seemed interesting. Pamela said goodbye to her friend and got off. Diego had to get off at the same stop. Why is this man following me? she thought. I'd like to invite her for a cup of coffee, but I don't have time now, he thought. Pamela walked into an office. The man followed her in. I'm here for a job interview, Pamela said. Me too, said Diego. It was love at first sight. Both Pamela and Diego got the jobs in a new hotel on the island of Ibiza, Spain, and six months later, they were married. The guests said it was a beautiful wedding. Pamela's Relatives From Left to Right Brian, Brother-in-Law Carolyn, Sister Mr. and Mrs. Grant, Parents Jenny, Niece Pamela, bride, Diego, groom, Chris, nephew, Bruno, brother-in-law, Mr. and Mrs. Fabri, parents-in-law. What did Pamela say? She said they met in Paris. What did Diego say? He said he grew up in Argentina. Who's that girl with blonde hair? That's Linda, Pamela's cousin. How do you know Pamela? I used to be her neighbor in Texas. Unit 2, page 11, part 2. Pair work. A. Ask about the people in the picture. Who is Diego? He's the groom. Who is Diego's father-in-law? It's Mr. Grant. B. Ask and answer about your past. Where were you born? I was born in Rome, but I grew up in Nice. Where did you go to school? I studied at Lincoln High School. Unit 2, page 14, part 5, listening. Listen to the biography of Natalie Portman. Put the events in her life into chronological order. Number them from 1 to 9. Natalie Portman was born on June 9, 1981, in Jerusalem, Israel. Her parents immigrated to the United States when she was still a young child. Natalie grew up in Long Island, New York, and she attended school there. At the age of 11, a cosmetics representative saw her in a pizza parlor. The representative wanted Natalie to be a model in cosmetics commercials. Natalie didn't like being a model. She thought that the job was boring. She wanted to become an actress instead. In 1994, when she was just 13, Natalie got an important acting role in the movies. She starred with Jean Reno in The Professional. She played Matilda, a street kid. After the murder of her family, Matilda goes to live with a professional killer. Natalie was a big success in the film. At the time, she said, I'm going to college. I'd rather be smart than a movie star. 
but in 1995, she appeared as Al Pacino's troubled daughter in Hit. In 1997, she spent a year on stage on Broadway in the title role of The Diary of Anne Frank. She gained international recognition for her role as Queen Amidala in the second Star Wars series in the spring of 1999. She said that people began to recognize her on the street, but usually only once or twice a week. In the fall of 1999, she started college. Her major field of study was psychology. When a reporter asked about her career, she said she still loved to act, but she wasn't sure she wanted to be an actress for the rest of her life. She's always ready for new challenges. Unit 2, page 14, part 6, pronunciation. Listen and practice. Note the pronunciation of used to. I used to play the piano. We used to live in a big house. He used to work during his vacations. She used to have a part-time job. Unit 2, page 15, part 8, conversation. How did the members of your group all meet? My brother and I went to school with Alf. Alf played the trumpet in our school orchestra. Our drummer, Charlie, was our next door neighbor. Ray used to sing and play the guitar in the subway. I heard his music and liked it, and that's how we met. What was it like when you first started your group? We used to practice in our garage. My mom and dad were always very supportive. Where did you first perform? Many places, usually in local clubs. At first, we had to play for free. When did you get your first big break? We were playing at the Beat Unlimited, and a record producer heard us. He asked us for a demo tape and took it to one of the big recording companies. What did the company say? Well, it said it liked our style, and we recorded our first single. It hit the charts, and our music is still popular with the public. Unit 2, page 16, part 10. Reading, Ricky Martin. Un dos tres, Maria. The Cup of Life, the 1998 World Cup theme song, and Live in La Vida Loca made Ricky Martin a star in every corner of the world. Live in La Vida Loca made history and became the largest selling single in the history of Columbia Records, one of the world's largest recording companies. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He became interested in a career as an entertainer in elementary school, where he used to act in plays and sing in the choir. As a small child, he made television commercials. Later, he took singing lessons, but at the time, Ricky wasn't interested in Latin music. His taste was for David Bowie, Boston, and Cheap Trick. At the age of 10, Ricky discovered the music of the Latin group Menudo. Menudo was a group of teenage singers that became the most popular youthful Latin American group of all time. He wanted to be part of the group. At first, they said he was too young, but later they called him for an audition. They wanted to see him perform. He joined the group when he was only 12. For five years, Ricky lived his dream. He performed at sold-out concerts on every continent. He had to spend long hours in the recording studio. Ricky said that his school was the hotel room and that the hotel lobby was his playground. In 1989, when Menudo was at the peak of its success, Ricky Martin left the group and moved to New York. He wanted to achieve solo success, but after a year of frustration, Ricky moved to Mexico. There, he began an acting career in Mexican soap operas. In 1994, he moved to Los Angeles, where he got a role in an American soap opera called General Hospital. This got Ricky his first Broadway job in the musical Les Miserables in 1995. At the same time, he released his album A Medio Vivir that featured Maria. His solo career was now a big success.
Nowadays, Ricky Martin is a household name. Latin pop's superstar has surprised the public with his English language albums, and he continues to sing and act Live in La Vida Loca. End of Unit 2